Yeah, and is Ms. Reardon on? Yes, Judge, she has been. Okay, thank you. So this is a status? Yes, Your Honor. Um, on Friday, uh, Ms. Quick provided me uh, with a modified plea agreement. Um, I was out of the office on Friday. I visited with um, uh, Ms. Reardon briefly. She was um, detained at her job. I have been busy helping a client who um, has been involuntarily committed um, and it was tied up all weekend and was not successful communicating with Ms. Reardon about the amendments to the plea agreement and what it means and haven't had an opportunity to go through it with her in depth like I need to. This falls on me, Judge, that I haven't been successful in communicating with Ms. Reardon um, and it is my fault, not hers, uh, that I haven't had the opportunity to explain to her uh, in full depth about what this plea offer contains. I am cautiously optimistic that we are successful in resolving this case, but I have to give my client the um, time and attention that she deserves in order to convey to her what the terms of the agreement are before she signs the dotted line and accepts it or um, elects to uh, proceed to trial. And so, Judge, I'm moving the court for a continuance, and it's, it's definitely time against the defense, but it's specific to me, Judge, and not Ms. Reardon. She's done everything. Okay. Uh, how, thank you. How much time are you asking for? Um, I have an obligation next Monday. I don't know what your next, um, um, what you're doing. I know you give, had a jury trial coming up. Yeah, just give me a ballpark and we'll fit it in as soon as we can, as, as soon as I know how much time you need. So my sincere hope is to be successful securing um, resolution uh, before the week is out, but it de is dependent on my client's, um, uh, on my client's schedule and her work obligations for her to be able to make the time to visit with me. Um, I will make myself available to her. However, Judge, if you could set it out for two weeks to the week of August 9th to the 13th, um, actually Tuesday the 10th to the Friday the 13th, um, I will be available for the court. My sincere hope, however, is that before then, I will have a signed plea agreement filed with the court and be motioning to set it for a change of plea instead of for a status conference in the event I don't, we'll be notifying the court in writing that we'll be motioning for setting it for trial. Okay, thank you. So my criminal day that week would be August 9th, um, not 10th. Um, so that would be the date we would be shooting for. I start my homicide on the 13th. So um, uh, I, if you, I'll have Ms. Quick tell me what her position is, um, but if I grant this, I'll need a motion and order from you today, Mr. Lowy, today. And Judge Best, um, something to add to oh, Ms. Ms. Reardon, please. I, I, I'm just asking for the lawyers to talk right now. Ms. Quick? Uh, Judge, I certainly don't object to a two-week two continuance. Just by way of background, we did go to mediation in this case um, and came up with a proposed agreement. There has been one sticking point for Ms. Reardon uh, that ultimately the state uh, conceded and took that provision out on Friday. So this is time sensitive. We're not um, messing around. This is more for Ms. Reardon, obviously, than Mr. Um, Lowy. He's been working the case diligently. Um, I'm hopeful this will resolve it, but it is our last, best, and final offer to Ms. Reardon. And um, I guess we'll see where we are in two weeks, Judge. Okay, thank you. So I'll grant this, Mr. Lowy, if you'll just send me Wait. over the motion. Yeah. Judge, if I could just confer with Ms. Reardon about her availability, please. Well, I'm try I've am trying. i got another case that I've got witnesses waiting for. So if you guys could get on the horn, that would be the most um, helpful to me. Okay. I shall, just Judge. With each okay, thank you. All right. 